again, it is Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for uh, joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. Uh, so you don't miss any videos, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Anne Makes in the corner of one of those corners there on the screen and on that bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Today it is my third video on the art supply hauls I purchased uh, during my trip to Paris very recently. And uh, I do a lot of these haul videos about arts and crafts supplies. I also do DIY and how-to videos about arts and crafts. And uh, this is a little different because I've never been to Paris before until now. And I went there, I saw all the tourist things. And I also decided to venture out on my own on several days that I was alone there. And I just looked for art supply stores and I just ventured out on my own. And I went off the beaten track and I found some fabulous stores and I was very happy about this. Now, on this day, I happened to go back into Paris actually. And I went to a department store that is called Le Bazar Hôtel de Ville, Le BHV, in the Marais District. So the Marais District is like a very like uh, kind of trendy area and kind of, you know, it's, it's not very, it's not, uh, I gotta say it's not a cheap area. This is not dollar store area but it's a great department store and I heard about it and it's like one of the oldest department stores that they have in France it's where all the uh, Parisians like to go shopping it's just a really really neat place and I wanted to check it out because I heard that uh, they had a big DIY section and they had a nice arts and crafts supply section as well so I went to check it out and boy I was not disappointed. I loved uh, visiting the basement of the store where you could also access the metro there. And they had this humongous uh, DIY section. And everything you could want in home remodeling, home decorating, uh, it was just, it was there. Uh, I've never seen a hardware section of any store be so spotless, clean, efficient. <laughs> you could find every type of screw, bolt, nut, uh, door hinge in any size, shape, form, color you could imagine. <laughs> it's just amazing, amazing, right in the middle of Paris. Uh, so yeah, that impressed me a lot. I then went up to the, I believe it was the second floor, if I remember correctly, where they have a whole uh, arts and crafts section. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll check out the arts and crafts section, thinking it gonna, was going to be mostly like kids crafts. Nope, I was wrong. They have fine art supplies there and I was in heaven. They have all the highest end, high end brands that we consider high end. They're, they're just, they're just what they use every day for school. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they had, they had a few uh, lesser high brand, but still what we would consider very good brands in North America. So, uh, and they were, again, having a back to school sale. So I, that's what I focused on was the best prices on the products. But I have to say that while I was in Paris, even the regular retail price of a lot of the art supplies were less than what I would pay here. But uh, I am not a fool and I decided, you know, I'm just gonna buy the stuff that's really good deal and I did. So, what did I buy while I was visiting in uh, Le Bazar Hotel de Ville in the Marais district is I got some PBO watercolor inks and in this great set, the Color X primary set by PBO 
and it comes with a free drawing gum. It's a marker with drawing gum, so you can do some um, kind of relief, uh, yeah, relief paintings. So you can draw on your paper with this, and then go over with the watercolor, and uh, you know, just when the watercolor dries, you just peel off this this gumminess st stuff, and you are left with the actual color of the paper underneath. So you get the contrast of both and it came in the, the this nice set of five uh, watercolor inks by PBO nice sizes the primary color so basically red yellow blue uh, a red a yellow a blue a white and is that a black I think that's a black so yeah just the basic set and this was in their back to school sale and I believe it was, yes, it was minus 40% off. So it's 26.7 euros. So that translates to about uh, 30 some dollars Canadian. And uh, that's still much less expensive than what I would pay for this in Canada. So uh, I would pay twice as much as that here. So. I was pretty happy about that one. I also found the Sennelier Iridescent Pastels. I love Sennelier products. They are some of my favorite products to use. And I love their pastels. And these are the iridescent metallic ones. I have purchased a small set of the iridescent colors when they came out with the new colors here that I found in Canada. And I did get it for a really, really good deal. But uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh, no, I'll be buying my colors again. But now I'll have double because there are, I already have six of these 12 that are in here. But the other six I didn't have. But this, it still came out to such a bargain for me uh, to buy it there because of the sale that they were, the back to school sale that they were having. So these are oil pastels. They are like metallic colors. And I was very happy to find that. Another thing that I found was some more watercolor pencils. These are the Derwent ones, and these are the metallic colors. Again, this was an exceptional uh, sale for the back to school, and I got these for a fraction of the price I would pay here in Canada. So these were about 20 euros. Or no, they were 23 euros minus 30%. So yeah, so basically it comes out to about $20 uh, Canadian. So I was pretty happy about that. I also picked up something that, yes, I can find here in Canada, but only for twice the price. So I picked it up there because in Paris, this was uh, only three and a half euros, but it was on sale again, but another 30% off. So it comes out to much cheaper comes out to half the price of what I would pay for it here at a and an art supply store and it's it's just a cup it's just a water cup for painting on the go by Faber Castell it's just a collapsible rubber cup but I am such a fan of this brand that I just want to have everything that they make and so I was able to find this to add to my collection I found another uh, Faber Castell mechanical pencil this time in the 0 0.7 and it has a grip thing and this is the kind that is sold for students for school uh, and this was only just over three euros so yeah and I, pr I looked at home for this and I couldn't get it for under $18 so I know I got it pretty good deal here uh, while I was in Paris. I also got an extra sharpener because I use a lot of pencil sharpeners. But this is a Faber-Castell one and of course I love everything they make and I just couldn't resist the price on this. I believe it was around two euros. So I got that one as well. Now they also had some uh, Asian products. They had a, a 
a section with a lot of these little age these Asian products that I've seen like on AliExpress that we can buy here in Canada. But uh yeah, I they had these little kits. There's 20, 20 different little ink cartridges. So these are great for fountain pens, calligraphy style pens. And this was only it was just under two euros because there was a discount on here. And I can't remember how much a discount was, but it was less than that. So uh, since I was there and I thought, oh, these are really inexpensive, I got two of them. I just couldn't beat the price, so I snagged those up. Then I saw the Caron Dash Full Blender Brights and Two Sticks. Uh, this is something we use to blend colors, whether they are our pencils or pastels or any kind of dry media. And the thing is you can use the entire stick here not just the ends so there's no waste and this is a new to me product and i i was able to play with it in the store because they had they have like a bar a coloring bar and you can try out they have samples for you so you can try out all the different types of crayons and pencils and blenders and pastels that they have really uh so I did that, I played with a lot of different things, and I really liked what I could accomplish with this. And I purchased this, and I'm stalling because I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I think I paid like five or six euros for this, basically. And last but not least, I picked up this Porte Fusain. Porte Fusain, it is um, oh my God, a charcoal stick holder. So, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's basically a charcoal stick holder, a nice handle. So charcoal, if you use any kind of charcoal, uh, it, it's black, it's really messy, and I don't like getting messy, but I do love using charcoal. So basically, this is just a holder thing for my charcoal so I can keep my hands clean. And this is something I never saw here. I saw it there and I purchased it for just a few euros. I can't remember how much exactly, but that is pretty much it. And of course, I got some free catalogs and uh, my my experience there was uh, complimented by the fact that I met a rep from Clairefontaine, so I, we were able to talk shop and I was able to ask a lot of questions about products and price points and comparison to what we have here in North America and in Europe and you know just get a lot of the the inside low down information about the products and that was that was very interesting to me uh you know this is what I I'm all about I love talking art and crafts so and I also got some I got a little booklet here on how to use the full blender all this is just given to you and a little catalog on the Caron Dash Neo Colors uh, just because I didn't know about all the possibilities and products that I could have with this brand. So that it concludes all the art supplies that I found in Paris while I was there. And of course, any trip to Paris for me would not be complete without purchasing macarons this is what's left of the box i purchased to bring back home there are four left and there are four of us in the family <laughs> so i am saving these last four for my family and uh yeah they're just macarons and i have to tell you that uh every every street corner and in the middle of the street has a pâtisserie or boulangerie there and uh you can buy so many pastries and delicacies there uh, all the time and uh, while I was in Paris I saw a lot of pâtisseries that sold macarons and I just waited till I was back in my hotel which is away from the mad tourist crowds and I got these for a fraction of the price that you would pay for them in the tourist areas and they are just as delicious and fabulous so <laughs> uh, i just wanted to share that with you and i know i can find macarons here in a, in a good pastry shop in in canada but 
hey, while in Paris, you got to get some macarons. So that is it for my Paris shopping haul tour. Uh, this was the third video and the three part, three video part series whatever. Uh, I hope that you were entertained by all of this. I've tried to include as many pictures as I could uh, about my my trip to Paris and, and information about the stores I went to. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I would appreciate a thumbs up, a like, a comment. Please share this video. And until next time, stay crafty. Au revoir! <laughs>